QuickBooks Enterprise 2021. Class tracking, responsibility accounting, allocate service center expenses to revenue centers, method one. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Enterprise 2021. Here we are in our class tracking responsibility accounting practice file. We currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows by going to the view drop down, selecting the open windows list. We've been allocating our information as we enter it into the system to the particular departments. Now we want to think about the method for allocating the cost centers to the revenue centers. To, to do that, let's first take a look at our profit and loss by class by going to the reports drop down. Reports drop down, company and financial. Take a look at the P&L profit and loss by class. We're going to be changing the dates up top from 010121 to 123121. This is what we have so far. If we then go to the Excel worksheet, you'll see that we have the same information or mirrored to, to some degree the information here broken out by department. And we saw here the department uh, for the service departments, which do not have any revenue line items. We want to see the detail. We also, however, want so on this level to see the detail on this level when we're analyzing more granularly to the performance possibly of the service department one or two, possibly a maintenance department or something like that. But we also on another level want to be able to allocate that over to what it's going to be used for on a, on a bigger scale, which is going to be the generation of revenue. So we want to allocate that over to the sales departments over here as well. So we want to be able to see the same kind of thing in QuickBooks. Now we would have to use some kind of, of uh, activity base in order to do that allocation as we did here. So we did our calculation in a prior presentation and we allocated out the department one and department two. We'd like to then set this up in QuickBooks to represent a similar type of activity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to QuickBooks. What I would like to see is it down below down here so I can see the net income and then see possibly down below this allocation, which will be reversing out the uh, service department items, these two, uh, reversing them out and then allocating them over here to the sales items. Let's first add an account to do that. So I'm going to go to the lists drop down, chart of accounts, and let's add another account. I'm going to say accounting drop down, rise up, accounting rise up. And then we're going to say that this is going to be the service department one. I'm going to set it up kind of like an expense account but I'll set it up as an other expense. So I'm going to, instead of just a normal expense, it's going to be down here as an other expense. So it should then be down below on the bottom of the income statement. So I'm going to say continue and we'll set this one up. I'm going to just call it service department one. And I'm going to say, save it. And we'll let's say, save it new, save it and new it. And then we'll do the same thing for service department two. Service department two similar activity and then now let's save it and close it and now we'll do basically an adjusting entry uh, to to uh, allocate out to these service departments so let's do it with an adjusting entry this would basically be be done at the end of the period so we're going to say all right company drop down we're going to go on down to the uh, journal entry so make journal entry i'm going to do it as of 12 31 to one so it's the end of the the period and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this one line item that's going to show up down here now i'm going to do it uh one one department at a time so i'm going to look at the service items which have 2200 this in here is going to be expenses so these are debits i'm going to have a line item on, on the bottom which will be a credit which will bring this down to zero and then we're going to allocate it out to the two sales line items that that it should be going to so i'm going to go make journal entry I'm going to use the new account we set up for service department one. I'm going to credit the, the first line item for that 2000, was it? It was 2000, right? Going back over 2200. See, I should, good thing I checked. I'm bouncing around here a little bit. But 2200. And then this is going to be going out of the service department service one. And then we're going to allocate it to the two revenue departments. So I'm going to be allocating it out to then. And it's going to be the same line here. It's going to be service department one. And I'm going to skip the amount right now. And I'm going to make sure that I get the allocations right. It's going to be allocated then to the sales one. And then service department one again. It's going to be allocated to sales two. And now we need to get this allocation that we had out. That we broke out in our worksheet. So we broke that out in our worksheet over here. To be 
uh, uh, 1,000 and 1,200. So this is going to be 1,000, 1,000, and 1,200. So that'll be our allocation. So it'll all go to the same line here, service department, which should show up at the bottom of the income statement. But it'll be reducing the column for the service department one. So you can see it going up and then decreasing down at the bottom of the income statement. And then we'll see it then included on the line items for the, the, the uh, sales departments. It's going to be under service department line item, but for the sales department. So <laughs> let's check it out. It'll save it, close it, checking it out. Saving it, closing it, checking it out. So here we have it down here. So we have the sales department one, sales department two, and then the service department. We can still see the detail up top for the payroll, rent, supplies, and so on. But we also brought it back down to zero in this line item on the bottom, which is nice because we still get this subtotal up top before the line item on the bottom, bringing it then back down to zero. And then we could see that single allocation of service department one being allocated to the sales department one and two now allocated to the revenue center. So we can nicely see that uh, all the all the items that uh, are directly going to the to the sales department one and two, as well as as the detail for the items in service departments one and two, and then we can see the allocation for that higher up level kind of analysis breaking up the service department one between the sales departments that are allocated out. We'll do the same thing now for the uh, second uh, service department. So we had. The service department two now is at 3004. We're going to do a similar process. So I'm going to go to the company drop down, make journal entry. And this is going to be as of 1231. So that looks good. And this is going to be service department two, which we're going to be crediting for. What did I say here? We said it was for 3400. So we'll say 3400 on the credit. And that's going to be going to the service department two service department two and then it's going to be service department two again here and now i'm going to delete this for now and get back to it so i make sure i allocate or get these two subcategories it's going to be sales department one service department two and then again i don't want any number i don't want the number yet no number yet and then this is going to be sales department two so then we just need to allocate between Sales department one and two, which we did in our worksheet over here. We did that on the worksheet. So it's 1400 and so 1400 and 2000. So 1400 and 2000. So that should do it. So once again, one line item that should appear on the bottom. It should then reduce the, the service department down to zero and allocate it out to the sales departments one and two respectively. So let's go ahead and save it, close it, check it out. Saving, closing, checking out. So then we have this now reducing it back down to zero here. That looks good. And then we allocated it out to, to our line item down below. So you can see that's a, that gives us a nice detailed worksheet so that we're doing our, when we do our responsibility accounting, we can go into the granular, granular level with regards to the service departments here. And we can also, when we take a level up and try to think of it from a broader perspective, we can look at the sales departments we could see those things in the sales department, which they have basically direct control over, which we can kind of judge them on or on, on more directly. And those things which they don't have direct control over, but which we are allocating from the cost centers. Now, what we can't see quite as easily here is if, if we see this, this line item, for example, down below on the service department, this line item also often also includes or obviously includes all of these line items, payroll, rent, supplies, utilities. And when we think about it with the sales department one, it's just included in this one group sum number. So I could then break this out and we see the breakout right here. So that number's broken out over here. But if this was a lot of, if this was a really long kind of account, then when I see this one line item, I might want, I might want to see more detail basically as it, as it relates to the sales department, you know, sales D1 kind of line item. So, so we could try another method of basically allocating this out. We'll test it out next time using our sub our subclasses to allocate basically each line item that would then show the sales department one and then and then a subclass of the items for sales department one in a in a side by side method. So this would probably be the more traditional kind of method to use here, but we want to practice those subclasses anyways next time. So next time we'll try to see this allocation. We'll take we'll take a look at the subclasses and how they could be added here. And then how you can like uh, collapse and uncollapse 
with the subclasses next time. At this point, just note that if I go back down over here in Excel, we, we have this bottom line of our, our sales departments, right? And if we, if we add these up to the bottom, th this is what, you know, the 7,009 and 9,006 are, are down here, 7,009, 9,006, the 175. So this kind of two lines sum up to our bottom line that we did over there on the, on Excel. Um, and then, and then, you, and then we have the more breakout of the detail for, for these line items. So pretty, pretty nice setup. We'll take a look at another method and play with the sub, the subclasses next time.